Hi guys, so today we're going to continue in our series of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Glitter Sticker Sketch Portfolio Set. Uh, so if you haven't seen the rest of the videos, you can go ahead and check them out. I've done three already. You came here, we did some coloring in together. In the first video, we also opened up the packaging, I showed you the markers, I showed you the stickers, all the stencils in detail, there are some instructions in the beginning as well. And then we drew a simple pony together for the first time, this one here. And then afterwards we used some of the My Little Pony figurines as inspiration for our next video. So this is Applejack. She was used in our second video and then in our third video we used this pony here which is Shutterfly, and we drew her in right here. So you can see she has the wings, she has the hair, the necklace, everything. So we added the stickers to match. And now we're going to finish this side of the drawing, and we're going to use a third pony as our inspiration today. So this is our other pony. She is pink. She has green, yellow hair and her symbol is flowers. Her name, if I remember correctly, is, yes, Flower Wishes. So Flower Wishes is going to be our inspiration today. Her charm necklace came with a flower. If you want to see these ponies being opened, I have a video that includes all five that I've collected so far. I open the packaging and show them to you in detail, so you can go ahead and check that out um, in the unboxing uh, video. So let's get started. I'm going to put these two ponies away here for myself and here she is so that you guys can see her better. I'm going to remove the stencils as well before we begin and then we'll flip right to uh, the front and get our markers out. So we're going to need, for sure, the green here, the yellow for the flowers as well, um, <clears throat> and definitely the pink. So we might use some of the other ones. We'll see. It comes with six markers. All right. So first thing we do, we're going to do it the same way we did last time. We're going to trace the hair and the tail and the wings on first. We will color her in and then we will add stickers to match the symbols that they have on their bodies. So let's begin with the mane. Um, so these are the wings. Let's look for some manes too. I think we have some on here. So we're going to do our hair different from Shutterfly's hair. I think we will do something maybe a little bit longer. I'm thinking this one here looks like it goes around her whole head. Might look a little big for this stencil, so maybe we'll do something else. Or maybe we'll just do it like this. Let's try... Uh, this one we use for Shutterfly, so I'm not going to use that one. Hmm. Any suggestions, guys? Which one should I use? Let me check out a different stencil. Otherwise, I might use one where the hair is just shorter. Okay, so maybe I'll use this hair here. Does that look... Oops, this one. That looks a little closer. Or is that a tail? It's hard for me to tell sometimes. I think what we'll do is we will use this one here. It just doesn't look like a lot of hair. It looks like it's for a smaller stencil. Sorry about the loud noises have some police officers in the background over here. 
Um, all right, so you know what? I think I'm gonna use this one, this mane here. So we also have to remember she has wings, so we'll do that afterwards. I'm gonna grab my green marker because her hair is like a lime kind of green color. Maybe we'll go over it in yellow afterwards, but I'm gonna do the green for sure first. So let's outline this together. Pushing the stencil down on the paper, my hand and tracing with my other hand. So there you go, that's one part of it, and then we'll do the part of her hair that flows down her back. So this pony doesn't have streaks, just like um, Fluttershy, she doesn't have streaks either, but we'll, we'll fix that up a little bit later, I think. So now that we have that, I'm going to grab our other stencil, this one has the wings on it and I might use the same wings that we use for this one because they look the same on on this pony as they did to the other pony except her wings are gonna be in pink so we're gonna put the cat back on our green marker we're gonna grab our pink marker and draw those in So pushing down and tracing along the outside of the stencil. So there you go, there's the wing and we'll choose our tail and we're going to color that one in green to match her mane. So here are the tails. Her hair is a little bit straight, so I'm gonna choose this one, I think, because it's kind of, it matches the, the mane best, I think. So put that right on her like this. And draw, I'm wondering if I should do it maybe a little like that. I think we'll do it like that. There you go. And there's her tail. I think that looks quite good. So, um, we're going to color her hair in. I'm going to use the green marker like we did to trace it. And I might do, I might go over it in yellow a little bit. So there it is, mostly colored in, and I'm going to connect this one, I think, color in the gap, I'll leave this part behind her ear, <clears throat> and color in these a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. And then we will color in her tail with that same green marker. Again, she doesn't have a streak on her tail, but I think we're just gonna leave it like this. So there you go. Now her eyes are in green also, so while we have our green marker out, we're going to color in her eye. So there you go. That looks good. And her body is all kind of a pinky purple color. I'm just going to test this purple, but I think, yeah, it's too dark. It's quite dark. Um, so I think we're going to do her in this pink. So 
So just color in the body. If you haven't seen the opening video, there are 24 My Little Ponies to collect in these figurines. So right now, because I only have five, um, I'm just going to use the drawing inspirations from the five that I have, and then when I collect the rest of them, I will do the colorings for those also. Coloring in the bodies always takes a little while, but they look good after they've been colored in. These markers are quite good. They're, uh, they don't dry out. They haven't on me yet, so doing quite well. We probably, hopefully, won't have to replace them for the whole series, but we'll see how long they last. And there they are, two hands giving a high five. Looks really cute actually. There's her ear and this part of her face. Just tracing along the outside to give myself some lines to color in between. This color's a little bit dark for her. She's really like a light pinky purple lavender color, but it's as close as we could get, so it'll have to do for now. Um, what I just realized though is that she's supposed to have a flower pattern around her eye, so hopefully we'll be able to find a sticker to lay over the pink. So let's go to our stickers now. and check them out here. Normally they have flowers that more or less match the ponies. So I see we have, there's a flower here. So I'm gonna draw her necklace and this is the flower we're gonna use to give her the charm. In terms of the rest of these, these look like the closest to the flower she has in her body. I don't see any white ones, but that's all right there. I look pretty regardless. So let's peel these off. We'll stick these flowers on her body first. So that's gonna go right, I'm wondering if I should do it around her eye. that just like she has flowers around her eye here and maybe I'll put um, a bigger one somewhere else or I think I might just do the charm bracelet yeah I think we'll just do the charm necklace so here's the flower we'll use for the charm necklace if you can see that they're all very sparkly the the um, stickers that they give you are really nice and we'll go back just making sure that didn't miss one that might be better I'm gonna take this little flower at the bottom here too to stick on her body because we want more than one just carefully putting them on my fingers and to stick them on her when we go back here she is. So here's the flower where it'll stick on her body. And her necklace, because she's pink, 
the necklace is white. We don't have a white marker. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to do it in blue. Just like our other pony here. There it is. And there's charm that goes on her necklace. I think that looks pretty good, guys. What do you think? matches pretty well. Colors aren't perfect, but they're pretty close. So I think what I'll do, I just want to see what this looks like. I might go over the green a little bit with the yellow to make it look a little more like her actual hair color. It's a little more yellow than this. It's a little difficult because they only give you six colors. They don't give you different pinks and different purples. But we'll get as close as we can to the figurines. So there you go. I think that maybe makes it a little bit closer. There you go. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please watch the other few in this set. Uh, I'll be making some more later and the figurine video as well if you want to see me unbox these cute toys I'm gonna write the names here at the bottom they give you a space so since this photo is done now I'll write in Fluttershy and uh, Flower Wishes so this is Flower Wishes and Fluttershy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, just checking to so make sure I'm gonna don't wanna spell her name wrong. We have Pinkie Pie also. So there it is. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day.